uh, you might not have a good job of executing. Justin did a great job of making some throws, and we said we're going to call some easy throws. We just got to make them. We knew he'd be there. We just got to make them, and he made them. And then our guys did a good job of catching them and making some guys miss after the catch. It feels like he has a good use. Playing really good, Farrell. Uh, Johnny Munt is playing great right now for us, and Evan Bayless is doing a hell of a job. So just, just those three guys just give us a lot of flexibility. What's the mood like in the locker room after ending a losing streak? It's awesome. You know, it's it's it's. You're so happy for those kids because they've worked so hard. You know, last week was such a tough one, the way it, the way it ended, and, and they had chances to win it. And just to see those guys, the smiles on their faces, um, not, not a better feeling in the world. How do you feel like the team has sort of rallied around Justin as a true freshman quarterback? And how is, how is he doing just kind of as a, as a you know, leadership position on the field? Sure. But he, yeah, he showed a lot of leadership qualities when he first got here. That's why when we did make that decision to play him, that the, play, the team responded really well. well um, and, you know, like, one of the reasons he's having a ton of success is because of Dakota. Dakota's done a great job with him behind the scenes as far as encouraging him. Um, teaching them and, and helping them with the positive stuff on the sidelines has been amazing. But yeah, our, our whole team is, has responded well to him. And he's, he's an easy guy to like. I mean, he, I don't think he's ever said a bad word in his whole life. He's a fun, happy, lucky guy that, uh, that everyone enjoys being around. Sorry for even ask, but his performance today, is that kind of something you can even expect with kind of their boomer bust type defense? Or did he play maybe better than me? Best case scenario. Sure. No, I. Well, we we went into the game thinking that you know part of their defense is they're going to create some negative plays. I mean, they do it against everybody, and they did it against us last year. And so our big thought process was we just got to connect on some big plays, and they'll come as long as we just keep running our offense and don't get discouraged by negative play. Just line up and play hard again. I thought our guys did that. Um, you know, Justin in particular, I thought that the quarterback because you see a lot of different looks and a lot of different pressures. I thought he stood in there well. Um, and for a freshman, just being able to know where the pressure's coming from and which changes where he's throwing it, and he did that. He did that better than I thought he would. Did you guys push the tempo more in this game and did it work? So when you have it previously. Like you guys were yeah, I thought so. You know, that's a big credit to him too. The quarterback and the center, along with the receivers getting lined up, those are the, the big drivers in the tempo. Um, and I thought all those guys did a good job. And he's he's really embraced the tempo ever since he's got here. Do you feel like tight ends were going to be this big as well in the game plan, or is that kind of just a situational thing? Kind of kind of a situational thing, you know. And I love what our tight ends bring to the table because we can run our whole passing game, but it gives us a lot more in the run game what we can do with those guys. And uh, and they're doing a good job. Matt, the last couple of weeks, as things have been bad for you guys, you know, uh, there's been a lot of talk about if Mark loses his job. I know you guys want to block all that out, but you don't live under rocks. How do you make sure that the kids are not losing confidence more than anything? They're so young, like, none of you guys have really been through this before. Sure. Well, it, it really goes to, you know, folks getting better every day. And, and if you truly focus on getting better every day, that's all we worry about. And, you, and then you block stuff out. And that's that's our thing. You know, and that was even going in today's game was, hey, let's just get better today. Let's just get better and execute and not worry about out the outside noise because you can't control the outside noise. All you can control is yourself, and our kids are really bought into that. How do you think, like, as coaches, you know, with two new coordinators and Mark is still a really young head coach, like, you guys are giving all the players pep talks. Who's giving you guys pep talks in this situation? Ah, well, Coach Elbert does a good job, you know, as a head coach as far as being supportive, um, being very encouraging and always having your assistant coach back is not a better guy. So he does a great job of that. And then I think what makes this SAS special is everyone gets along. So we all kind of pat each other on the back and you know try to be positive influences on each other. Do you feel like as, as other assistants do that with, with him? Like, Coach, like we believe in you? Have you seen we, kids Well, we try that? to. We probably don't do it enough. Yeah, we try to. And and the players do it. You can tell the, the kids believe by the way they practice. You know, I know the results aren't there as far as the wins and losses, but we feel good about the way our guys are practicing. And that's, you know, that, that's, that's our whole mantra. It's the harder we practice and we try to win each day, it'll pay off eventually on the field. And that, that's been going good. Like I said, it hasn't showed up on the scoreboard until today. But, uh, 
that's been very encouraging. There were drives and stretches in this game where it looked like the offense, to, where the offensive drives and started to stall. Sure. Settle for field goals. Defense get back, get back out there. They come up with a couple big interceptions. Sure. They come up uh, with a couple big stops on on defense. Third down stops. It really looked like this was an Oregon team that's that's clicking like we've seen in the past. Yeah, yeah. I was very proud of our defense because they made plays at big times, uh, momentum changers. And the two turnovers were huge. I think we scored on one and one basically sealed the game. And uh, you know that's awesome. That's that's both the defense helping us, and I think we helped them a little bit by you know, maintaining the few drives early, scoring some points. And, uh, and special teams, we had a fake punt, so it really did feel like a complete victory. Is the gameplay coming into today's game to pass first rather than run? Uh, we knew that could happen. We kind of wanted to see what they were going to do because we, we didn't know. Um, we wanted to be balanced, and based on what they were doing, I felt that we could throw the ball. And so and our quarterback did a good job of executing it. And that's kind of what happened. Sorry, Coach, you kind of talked about it a little bit, but specifically, how does the defense forcing turnovers help the offense? The first time they force a turnover since the Colorado game, how does that help your offense specifically? Well, it's, it's a huge momentum deal. You know, it's, it's a field position, it's, a, it's an emotional thing, and it's, it's a big stop. And, and the one that they stopped early, and we got a touchdown off that, which was huge. You know, I thought that, you know, they were kind of playing catch up from the outside. That was my big, for a whole bunch of big plays. This game. That was maybe the biggest because they were playing catch up the whole game. So it kind of forced them out of character. And uh, yeah, so when a, when a team creates a turnover, too, you know, and conversely, that's what we always talk about as an offense. So, hey, we're not going to turn the ball over. Now, we had a big one today, which almost hurt us, but that's something that we've been decent at. We, we talk about all the time. A team that usually wins a turnover battle wins a football game. Awesome. Nice performance. What is he doing? Seems like he's getting better and better. What's he doing? Better at it? Just, uh, uh, uh. I mean, he's getting better at everything. You know, just his attitude. It's, uh, it, it, and to me, it's contagious because he, he does that in practice. And he just, every time he has an opportunity, he does something good with it. And, and he does a lot of stuff on special teams that people don't notice. So, could not be more proud of him. He's playing as good, if not the best, of anybody on our whole football team. What's Justin's like understanding of the playbook? Are you guys continually adding more and more stuff on and trying to figure out sure. what yeah, he, he can handle? He handles it great. You know, and I was very proud. This week I was a little concerned because we had a little more passing game going into the game, so we thought we needed it. And uh, you know, as a quarterback, there's a lot of mechanics in this. You have to not just know what you're doing; you have to know what everyone else is doing. And he handled it like a champion. Thanks. No problem.